This is Jesus Manuel Mangarza in Fort Worth, Texas. Hope you're doing fantastic where you're at. Today was a very nice day. My wife and I enjoyed uh, going to downtown uh, Fort Worth, having some Turkish coffee. My wife had a hankering for some Turkish coffee. Had some strange food from egg rolls to uh, different types of pastries. Uh, and uh, but we had a good time we went downtown. And we were in the, the temps were in the low 70s. And high 60, so again, fantastic weather. But in a few days, in several days, it's supposed to be uh, quite cold. Too chilly for me. It's going to be in the uh, 20s. That's going to be in the, the highs in the 20s, below freezing, and uh, significantly even colder than that overnight for a couple of days. I think that's uh, Thursday and Friday. So let me turn around this camera. I'm in my backyard right now in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. It's about 7 p.m. We got a little bit of light. So let's shoot a video and let's see what happens, okay? Let me turn around the camera. So there's my backyard. It's a bit of a mess. We've got quite a few leaves and the wind blew down my uh, sawhorses. Put the leaves over here for right now. Just I should uh, bag them up, but my wife wants to use them for compost for our uh, crepe myrtles, which are all that whole side over there's crepe myrtles, etc, etc. Once, uh, you know, football season is over, I have to replace this section of fence. Look how old it is and beat up it is. I'm going to replace it. Uh, you know, once football season is over in a couple weeks, my uh, lights just came out because I'm outside. And here's my RV. I just wanted to do a quick uh, report on my RV. Note that I have the slide out, and let me show you the other side. And I also have the steps out, plus I also have a couple locks in the front. So if anybody wants to steal it and take it down the alley here, either that way or that way <laughs> they're gonna have to drag it with a slide out and the stairs down if they're gonna seal it hopefully it makes a lot of racket and everybody goes hey is somebody stealing this this was a new uh, rockwood mini light you only had it for a, a little over a month so let me show you my uh, rockwood mini light 2205s and this is, uh, again, 2022 20, model. And uh, I have quite a few interesting options. Again, uh, I have a little lock there, another lock there. Power tongue jack. This power tongue jack, every time I put down my truck tailgate, it hits this button. So I'm thinking about twisting it and moving it this direction, at least help a little bit. I did notice uh, something weird. Uh, see this right here? It's, uh, it's sort of eaten off one of these uh, the chains. So what I did is I connected both chains with this right here at that link, and hopefully that helps out. So we'll see what happens. I currently have a tiny little uh, seal lead acid battery inside there, and but I'm thinking about moving some of these wires, taking them through that little hole, and having them. Uh, the batteries in my pass-through storage right about there. These are my side marker cameras from uh, Hallowview. The folks at Hallowview said they're going to send me another one because this one is not working. It's probably I broke it. You know, probably when I pulled one of the wires, I broke it. And but they're supposedly sending me another one of these driver side Hallowview side marker cameras. Okay, I do have the option of the uh, slide toppers and I really really like it quite a bit and as you can see the more colorful stickers the outside stickers for this uh, travel trailer I removed them I have the black little stripes odds and ends no problems 
So I have it blocked off down here. Have some shock chocks, as they say. There's the uh, water heater, the various connections right there. And uh, it's getting quickly very, very dark here. I put this uh, extra camera here just for fun because I got a, a camera kit from some folks. And I'll leave that link right now. You can see that information is right there. So you can, if you want to order one of these cameras, these are, this will make a great backup camera, by the way. So I do have my Hallview backup camera there. And I have my new license plates right there in case you want to grab them. And there's my uh, outdoor shower. I wish, uh, like the ultralights and the uh, larger models, they had a plastic, you know, a real plastic cover for this. But they still have these super budget little uh, vinyl things, uh, covers for the wheels. And, of course, that's a cheap, cheap tire. Not, a, not one of the Goodyear tires. This is a cheap tire in there. And uh, there's my... Uh, Axis back there, and again, my Hell of You backup camera, which works fabulous, by the way. I did put some, uh, you can hardly see it because it's starting to get super dark here. Uh, I put some uh, sandpaper tape here, what do you call it? Grip tape. And I have a roll of like 25 feet, and I only used uh, 18 inches of it. <laughs> so there's my. Uh, more right, step above. I love it. I love it. And of course, I got this uh, travel trailer at the from the fine folks at Wana RV Center in Shipshawana, Indiana. Uh, by the way, I have no desire, no interest, no inclination to ever go back to Indiana, Illinois, the Upper Midwest. It's too cold, too flat, too boring. I like to go to mountains. I like to see oceans. And uh, this is one of my recent mods. It comes off. It's a, basically a solar-powered uh, little uh, light, and it goes on when it detects motion. There's a little button in the back that you can turn it on and turn it off. Of course, you can see all the stuff right here, all my fixed, the heat exhaust, 12-volt power, uh, GFCI-protected uh, power there. And the little little ledge here, and there's my other side marker camera. So I have two side marker cameras from the kind folks, the wonderful folks at uh, Hallowview, and I have uh, a backup camera from very wonderful folks at uh, Hallowview, and I have uh, another camera which I stuck in the back from the folks at Tech. One of my future plans is to uh, cover that window with some uh, very thick, very durable, uh, sort of uh, like a film of some, tarp, some sort. That'd be nice, don't you think? And uh, should give it a little bit of protection. Of course, I have two 30-pounders, power tongue jack, and an equalizer hitch system for 10,000 pounds worth. It's the top of the line, pretty much top of the line, uh, you know, anti-sway hitch, and I really, really love it. So this is the side where I park it, and uh, let me back up, show you my uh, my RV, and of course on the right, those garbage cans used to reside over here, but I had to move them because I put my trial trailer here, so now they're over there, and that fence has seen better, better days. And there's my specimen of a tree. Let's get inside. Let's check it out. Beautiful awning, speakers, my little uh, solar-powered uh, motions, lights. Let me tear open that. Let me go inside. It's dark. Muy dark. Let me turn on the lights right here. Poink. We can put on a porch lights just to see what they look like in the step lights. Let's go outside and take a peek. Huh. They didn't go on. Let me see what I did wrong. Porch light. Awning light. 
There's the awning light. Finally, let's see the porch lights on. There it is. There's my amber colored uh, porch light, and of course, my LED awning lights. Look pretty sharp, huh? Nice lighting. Let me show you my light here, my little light. Let me turn it on for right now. Just that was a little button back here. Oops. <laughs> Let's go inside. There's my fire extinguisher, heater exhaust. GFCI uh, protected outlet over here is my uh, dustpan and this is some storage over here I pretty much removed everything out of my storage I had for a while there a bunch of stuff and this up here you have a, an area where you can hang stuff and this of course comes out this comes out this one does not this one down here does not so, here's a close-up shot of the uh, interior porch awning, step lights, slide-ins, awning retract, Wi-Fi, which I cannot, I cannot get Wi-Fi Ranger to work if my life depended on it. Uh, water pump, water heater, uh, water electric, uh, tank heaters, etc. And of course, this comes with TPMS. The tire pressure monitoring system, as I was driving from uh, Indiana to here, I give it a solid A+. Plus. It, was a, it was excellent, excellent. It just, uh, you know, rotated from one tire to the next tire to the next tire, and you constantly got information. Let me turn on this light. And uh, let me see any more lights. Let's turn on this one. And this one. And this one. And let me see. Let's turn on this one just for fun, too. And we have one way over there on top of the bed. That'll be my next one. Oops. Uh, by the way, I have that option also of a Maxer fan right over the bed. So. On that side, my wife has... This is my wife's side, just like inside the house. This is where she has her storage. And I added a, some more receptacles and USB. And I just put it right there so she can have plenty of charging options. And she has a good size little area there. My wife brought in these two little pillows from our house. So, the, you know, this pillow right here came with the uh, travel trailer. There's my little uh, charging center. I just added this one over here. Uh, pretty simple. The folks at uh, Juana said don't put any pressure on here because this is like a three-eighths of an inch thick and uh, that's not very thick. The pillows have two sides to them. One, two. It almost looks like a Burberry pattern, huh? But not quite. I do have some uh, hangers here, but I want to get some better hangers. You know, they only cost 10 bucks to get some good hangers. I have some storage over here. My wife has a couple hangers. Of course, we have storage right there in the light. And the vents. They can twirl around. And they can close, etc., etc. Here's another light. Let's turn that one on. Hey, there we go. So one of the features that I like about this uh, travel trailer is the fact that it has two, count them, two easy chairs. My wife sits on that side. I have this side because it's closer to the TV. <laughs> so uh, it reclines, it does all that sort of stuff. Very nice. Let me recline it for you. There it goes. That's pretty nice, huh? Very nice. And you can adjust the lumbar right here. And right here I already have quite a bit of junk. Several remotes, reading glasses, a little fan, etc, etc. 
Let's see if my wife put anything on her side. Oh, she has a, a notepad. Very nice. She's been keeping a journal of our trips. And she's, she's very good at that, being an academic. There's a, an area for two cups. Not very functional. Very shallow. I wish it was a little bit deeper. Yeah, but we do have these receptacles here. Two USB and alternating current right there. Up here, we have some storage that goes up from right to left. And this is the style of the new valances for 2022. In 2023, they'll change them. In 2024, they'll change them again. And in 2025, who knows what they'll do. They'll make some more changes, okay? I do like the roller blinds. I asked that for an option in, uh, in 2021, and they became standard in 20 <laughs> 2022. Right here's the budget uh, thermostat. I'm still very upset that they don't have a digital thermostat uh, for the 2022 model. Maybe the 2023 model will come out finally with a digital thermostat. So fan, cool on this side. And then we have off and then heat. So yeah, off, heat, off, fan, cool. And then you have over here, uh, high, low, low, high. So auto, et cetera, et cetera. So. Pretty straightforward. This is my TV. It's a Furion TV. I have a fire stick connected to the TV and it gets its, some of its power right there. This is my uh, Hellaview monitor. This is my tech monitor. This is my uh, tire pressure monitor. And there's my fireplace right there. Quite a bit of storage under here. Currently have a couple little uh, containers that fit perfect. If you have any questions or desires or interest in getting some of these, they stack up very nicely. You can have, you know, one, two readily. So you can have four of these easily in there. Very nice. Again, the exhaust for the heater and the extension solid surface countertops and a three burner cooktop so this is this is cast iron this ain't no stamp steel this is cast iron this is very nice three burners on our last camping trip in indiana illinois missouri arkansas and finally texas the stovetop worked perfectly absolutely flawlessly and here's the controls for the, this is the igniter, you know, burner one, burner two, burner three, and this is the oven. And you can turn on the light, apparently. There they go. Got some lights. Nice oven. Good size oven. My wife and I do like to cook. Make some, uh, pizza put some pizza in there whatever egg rolls who knows pies cakes I'm on a restricted diet so I'm not gonna have any of that stuff <laughs> anything with carbs but uh, maybe for guests I pretty much pulled out uh, everything except for these two items for most of the drawers and uh, this is the filter, the water filter, the water filter thing. The, mic the microwave plate and some paper towels. I've pretty much emptied them all out. Here's where the sponge drawer. This has been emptied. I put them all the stuff inside because we had. I started noticing we have two of this or three of that. And here's another. Very deep, very deep. Look at that. Opens this one. See? That one opens that one. Let's open it again. See? Hey. That's pretty fancy, huh? There we go. Down there is a fuse box. The folks that make this fuse box asked me if I wanted to switch it out. Uh, maybe I'll do it next year when the warranty's expired. <laughs> but not this year. They have a new fuse box that's uh, supposed to be super, 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 super duper smart. And they said, oh, we'll send you one for free so you can uh, install it. But I'm none too bright. Maybe get some help. Maybe when I'm in San Jose, I'll consider that I have to 
a couple brothers who are electricians and stuff. They know what they're doing. And this is the 12 volt, 10 cubic foot GE refrigerator. And uh, it's a beautiful refrigerator. I really like it. And I put these poles here, these extension uh, poles. And uh, there's probably a better term for these poles. And uh, I put it there so in case stuff doesn't fly out immediately. With my luck, it'll fly out anyway. I have a couple more poles down there. And a nice, nice area for refrigeration. Again, I don't see us buying that much stuff to eat. But then again, you never, you never know. Here's the air conditioner right up here. It's a good size. We got the 15K air conditioner. And I took everything out of here. It was packed a couple days ago and I just took it all out and brought it inside because I want to get a better grasp of what we have and what we don't need. You know, we don't need, you know, a hundred towels, <laughs> hundred washcloths. We don't need all that stuff. So more of these, uh, these devices. I put some uh, soap there. It smells nice. And behind here is some some stuff I I don't know nothing about. And uh, but I like it. I like it. Again, this is the uh, the Go Power uh, PWM budget uh, charge controller. It's a display and the charge controller all in one. Uh, most of uh, the other manufacturers are putting the charge controller next to the battery where it should be, by the way. But uh, the folks at Rockwood Flagstaff are a little uh, slow slow on um, change. And uh, they got the budget PWM. And plus it's a way over here. Way over here. And, you know, so. But I'm pretty much uh, doing okay. This uh, RV is right now just being powered off the batteries. And one of my goals is to uh, install lithium ion batteries uh, pretty soon, maybe in about a week, maybe in two, three weeks. I'll be doing that uh, update. And there's my IRV Technologies radio. Budget speakers sound no bass, zero bass, zero bass. Very nice furry on TV. I like the picture, even though it's only 720p. And there's the connections. You can press this button. And all of a sudden get uh, power for the antenna, for the stereo, and the TV, both, okay? So let me make sure it's off, it's off. And also, the TV, if you want to watch a TV, there we go. You're going to have to turn on the, uh, the inverter. And the inverter's right down here. You just press a button, and you have... The inverter, okay? So, but you keep it pressed, and there you go. You got the inverter on, okay? So, let me turn it off. There we go. There we go. It's finally off. This did not come with the, uh, Travel trailer, it's my wife's, uh, one of our blankets. It's an insulated blanket. This area below here, these three drawers, let me open one of them at least to show you. Pretty good size. We could put some stuff in here. Oops. They're not self-closing. There we go. And right here, we have plenty of storage. Again, beautifully aluminum framed. Nice uh, shock absorbers. And a nice handle right here so you can lift it up and down. It came with this uh, bed cover, those pillows, that fuzzy pillow, that pillow. These two colorful pillows on my wife's, okay. So what do you think of the floors? Do you like the floors? I like the floors. They're quite nice. So now let's go inside the bathroom. Let's turn on the light when we get in there. There I am. Let me see. Where's the switch? Oh, there you are. 
So, of course, you got a Max Air fan with rain cover. Both Max Air fans have rain covers. And there's our porcelain foot flush toilet. And we're still winterized for another month. See? It's all that pink stuff's in there. We've never used this toilet yet. I look forward to giving it a test run in uh, late February, early March. That RV marine toilet tissue they gave us, uh, the folks at uh, Shipshawana gave that to us. My wife has some towels in here. We got some toilet paper and we have a little bath mat. I have some water down there. When we're camping, we just, you know, had a little portable toilet here, a little uh, cassette toilet that we put right here. Porta potties, they call them. And uh, it worked out very nicely. So when it was cold in Indiana and in Illinois and Missouri, uh, we didn't have to go outside to go poop somewhere. We just pooped right here in a little porta potty. Smart. This is uh, something very nice I like. It's a little little area where I can put some toilet paper. We have these little bags. And uh, it works out very nicely. And this is where the water pumps back there. And we have some GFCI protected connections there. There's a plastic sink. I think that's plastic. Yeah, that's definitely plastic. So they give you a nice little plastic faucet. You know, a, they save money where they can. The folks at Rockwood flex that. Area for a toothbrush. An area for a cup. Of, so you can rinse your mouth after you brush your teeth. And for gargling, there's my wife. Put these towels. These do not come with the unit. You know, these are my wife's. Towels. She's enjoying accessorizing. She likes the tan to go with some green. And uh, same over there. She likes certain colors. And there I am. It's cold. So we're going to be using this uh, unique RV Digest holding tank treatments once we get started. And it's uh, supposed to be very nice not to... Uh, Cause any issues with the environment. We have some dishwasher soap and we have a it says for toxic chemicals and only. So, I this is my little measuring cup for this. This goes in here and we use it. My wife had a little bit of cork down here one cork here, cork there. And again, we have some very nice hardware, solid wood door fronts, all metal handles, plastic uh, sink. Uh, false. <laughs> this is plastic for sure. <laughs> Again, let me see if the other one's plastic. Who knows? It seems it seems like metal, but they may be fooling me. Okay. We have a ground fault circuit interrupting uh, connections there. So we can plug things, and of course we have a very nice graystone fan with the light. Fan. There we are. Okay. So that's the end of the tour. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about this travel trailer, feel free to contact me. Let me turn around the camera so we can finish off this video. It's a bit cold today. But it's not super cold. It's like a, to me, I get cold when it's 55 degrees. It's around 55 outside. For you, all you uh, folks uh, in Chicago, going, uh, that's t-shirt weather. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it if you have the time. Uh, please leave your kind and super friendly and professional comments below. If you have any questions about this RV, the you know, the uh, Rockwood Mini Light 2205S, or it's a sister or brother product, the uh, Flagstaff Micro Light 22FBS. Feel free to contact me. I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions if you have any questions. Uh, as long as I actually understand, you know, the subject you're talking about, but I can answer your questions. Again, in a few uh, weeks, I'll be installing lithium batteries in the front uh, pass-through, 
And those batteries are courtesy of the folks at A Lithium Batteries. They are super generous to me. I am just a modest YouTuber. I am the most modest of YouTubers. And uh, but uh, they were very generous. They gave me two 100 amp hour 12 volt lithium batteries. And these are not cheap batteries. These are top of the line batteries with all the features. You know, Bluetooth and uh, you know cut off if it gets too cold you know amazing so i'm very excited about installing them in my travel trailer from fort worth texas this has been asus manuel menagares i hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at gracias adios bye bye